Hey, what's up, guys? It's JB again. Uh, today I have another Saber reveal. Um, I have a Saber Forge ASP that was powder coated by Pete Sandoval. Uh, here it is, right here. This is Joseph Wayne's Saber. Inside, I have a Spark Color 2. Has a Goth 3D chassis, the Uniboard chassis. It has a 2 watt base speaker. And the switches right here are uh, purple AV switches. Uh, they're black, atonized, so they have the purple uh, ringlet switches. Um, and they are wired up to the accent pads. Uh, my apprentice, as you would say, uh, David, uh, actually did this install, so I checked out everything, and everything's good. Uh, I rechecked a lot of things, wiring, uh, stuff like that. Um, and he has pictures of everything. So uh, it was a very good job by him, so props to him for that. Um, it's got a really nice blade plug as well. I don't remember who um, this blade plug was designed by or made by. I just know that it's really cool. Uh, I got it from Pete. So comes with that. Uh, I also included a um, laser forge kill key that goes with the hilt. Um, I don't know what the design is called. Again, sorry. Uh, but there you go. It's actually gold tinted or however you want to call it brass printed um, so so yeah uh, that's pretty much it for the exterior stuff uh, this is so you guys can get a better look at this let me just focus in on here there you guys go you can get, you guys can get a good look at the powder coating job by Pete <clears throat> very clean he also has a Jedi logo right there. You guys can see that. Very clean. And of course it's got the, the neck up top. It's very clean. So I have to drill a hole here for the recharge port. And they came that came out pretty clean. So didn't mess up any of the powder coating. So pretty proud of myself for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I'm a little sick right now, so if my voice sounds weird, uh, that's why I slept on my couch today and the fan's like right above it. Uh, so I screwed up. <coughs> oh, I'm also rocking this lid from the Custom Saber Shop. Um, I said might as well represent a company that provides for everybody and for myself. So I'm rocking this lid in my videos now. Um, so I'm excited about that. Wear it out in public too. So let's boot the saber up. There are the switches wired up to the accents. I set up some colors really quick for the picture reveal that I did. Um, so you guys can see the different colors. So uh, there was actually a problem with my video that I uploaded. So if you saw a video get uploaded and I took it down, it's because it got cut off by YouTube. It was only like four minutes and my video was originally like 10 minutes long. So I'm going to try and make this one uh, around the same time, more or less, or a little bit shorter, um, so the video can be uploaded a lot faster. So I'm sorry about that. So this is the the, the Sauron font, which is the Lord of the Rings. There's some clashes. And here are the... The uh, I guess it's the it's the uh, blaster, but it's really like uh, voices like from the movie and stuff like that. And then let's do the lockup. The lockup plays the music, like the action music. It's got like four or five different voices that come up on here. So that's the lockup. <laughs> that's the other music. And I have the volume to this set down like two notches lower than the max, just so it doesn't sound distorted. So there's the blade plug illuminated. Not a light shines through it actually. Like I can stare at it like right in the eye. And not a lot of light shines through it. It's very diffuse. So. It looks pretty sick. <clears throat>
So let's check out uh, some of the other fonts. I added four fonts, and the other two are the default, so I won't go through those. This is the Force Awakens Kylo Ren HD. Blasters. I'll do the lock up right now. I like that lock. I can show you the ways of the force. So, uh, yeah, it has really cool quotes in there. So the next font I believe is the Force Awakens HD. <coughs> Graphics HD. Blasters and lock up. And that was my phone going off, sorry. <laughs> There's lock up. It's got the, you can see the color turn on. Alright, so the next one should be pitch black. And that's a custom meetup. <clears throat> There's pitch black. And blaster. And lock up. All right, so let's put a blade in and we'll go through the colors real quick. Uh, I'll do it with the lights on and the lights off. Um, I'm just gonna leave it on pitch black for now. Um, so you guys don't have to go through the fonts with me again since we've gone through all of them. And here's a blade plug. You can see how diffused it is. All right, <clears throat> so I got a 30, no, I think this is a 20, 26 inch saber forge, I think. So we'll do lights on, lights off, so you guys can see the differences. So this is just normal royal blue, and of course the camera doesn't pick it up that well the way it should come out. Let me see if I could focus this, and maybe it'll change. Just like way too bright for it. Yeah. All right. So this is the normal royal blue, and then change color. I have it set up where you hold the aux button and you twist. That way, you know, if you twist all you want, someone change the color. So you hold aux and you twist. So here's uh, green. This is green. Here's red. You gotta hold it out straight to do it. And this is a yellow. I have a yellow set up for him. And this is supposed to be like kind of like a white, but it has more of a purple hue to it. So it's, so it's like a really light purple. And this is more of like a deep yellow that I have. Can't really tell on camera. And here's like an orange, like a blood orange. And I got a purple to match his switches. And I have a cyan. It's a really nice cyan. And we're back to a royal blue. 
So now I'm going to do it with lights off so you guys can see the difference. Lights off. Alright, so here's the royal blue. Really bright. Of course, this is just with one LED, so it's not as bright as the other um, hooks that you guys see. But it's still very bright. I mean, you guys can see how bright it is. Lights up the entire room. So, we'll change the color now. Wish I could change it like this, you guys can see. It. There you go. So, this is green. Here's the green color. And that does not pick up that well on camera, actually. Um, there's the blue blaster deflect. Alright, I just need to hold it out straight. Here's red. It's got like a pink flash on flash on that one. And here is the bright yellow that I did for him. And here is the one that's supposed to look like white. It's white in person. It's 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 like a, a I need like um he's gonna set up his colors again. These aren't the colors that are gonna be set up, but like. The camera is not showing the the true color of what it is in person. You guys know about that. I mean, you take a picture of it and it looks real like it doesn't look like that in person. So the same applies for the color. So this is like a white. And here is a deeper yellow. And here's the blood orange. It's got a pink flash on flash. And here's the purple that I have matching his AV switches. And we should be back to royal blue on this next one. Oh, I forgot about the cyan. <laughs> My bad. So here's a cyan. And then back to royal blue. So Joseph, there is your saber. Um, this is being shipped today actually to you, so uh, I'm sending a charger, a chassis, and switches to you, and I believe that's it. Um, so I'm going to ship this off today, so i got to package it up. Uh, he's going to be showing a classroom a bunch of kids uh, this saber so I promised them I'd get them out today so it's being shipped today and I hope that the kids like it man thank you guys